Hey guys, just letting you know that the video you are about to watch is recorded the day of the release of Far From Home. So, this video is more than likely going to get uploaded on Wednesday, but you guys will see it Wednesday, like I said. But, it's recorded on Tuesday, October 1st, 2019, the day of the release. So, just, just a heads up. Okay, alright, to the video, to the video. Hey guys, I'm Afro Geek Plus Ultra Nappy, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, today I figured I'd do an unboxing, and once again, it is not an anime series. This is a movie that I've only seen surprisingly once in theaters over the summer, and I have been, oh, I've been dying to get my hands on it, and I am so glad I pre-ordered it. And so, without further ado, y'all still read the title, let's jump into the video. Got the package here, got the screwdriver. Let's jump into it. What's funny is, I don't need the screwdriver. I can just rip it. <laughs> is this your man? Whose man's is this? So here it is, Spider-Man Far From Home, Blu-ray, DVD, digital. I love Spider-Man too much. Spider-Man is my favorite, favorite Marvel superhero, and I'm not giving the digital code away for this. I'm sorry, but I, I gotta keep this. I, I gotta keep this. I'll flip it to the back, so you guys can get a good look at the back there. It's gonna be the same thing when I take the plastic, I mean, when I take that thing off, the sleeve. So here it is, right here, here goes, that front, a little bit on the back, and there it goes, it's set back. Now I'm gonna need my screwdriver. Right. Oh. Oh, so sexy. Oh my God. Taste the clothes off. Oh, man. Oh. Mm. What did you say, nigga? Ooh. Hey, this actually smells like a new car. All right, so here's what the inside looks like. You got the DVD and you got the Blu-ray copy right there. Looks pretty dang good. I might wait to watch this with my girlfriend because I know she's definitely going to want to watch this. But uh, her brother might have to watch this <laughs> tonight. So basically, for those of you that have not seen Spider-Man Far From Home, basically this one is a continuation off of the events from Avengers Endgame, where basically if you have seen Avengers Endgame, that's cool, but if not, I'm letting you know this is a spoiler. So if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, might as well just turn the video off because I'm gonna spoil some for y'all. So this takes off after the events of Avengers Endgame, you know, people who have disappeared for the past five years everybody comes back including Peter Ned you know Nick Fury multiple other people so everybody comes back it's school year Peter's going on this big trip with his class to Europe and basically London all over and like like the title says he's far away from home and basically he's kind of lost because Tony Stark is dead He's lost. He feels like he doesn't have a guidance, some sort of like role model to look after, like, you know, look up to. So he's just trying to be the best Spider-Man he can while others are looking at him as basically the next Iron Man. But this movie is about him just trying to, you know, get to talk to MJ, trying to make this trip the best, not having to do his Spider-Man job while Mysterio comes in and... Apparently he's from another universe and he's like, hey, we got to work together to stop the elements from taking over the world as we know it. Maybe even the universe. We don't know. But in all that jazz, it's a big old thing. I'm not going to spoil as the whole lot of Far From Home. I just basically gave you the synopsis. So if you haven't seen Far From Home... Go watch it. Seriously, people on Amazon ripping on it. Not everybody, but there are some people. I feel like older people that are like in their 50s, because there was a lot of that in the Amazon comments that were like, this is the worst Spider-Man. He wasn't wearing the red and blue suit. 
So when you were stuck in your ways and you were used to seeing a certain type of Spider-Man, you know, it's different. This is the MCU. This isn't like the one from Tobey Maguire. This isn't the Amazing Spider-Man of Andrew Garfield. This is the MCU, Spider-Man, Marvel, Disney, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. So it's a lot different, whole different story, different universe, all that junk. I am begging you guys, go watch it. If you gotta buy it, rent it, do digital copy, go on stores, wherever, get it. Watch it. It's a must-see. It's a must-see. This apparently comes with bloopers, deleted scenes, a short film, and just oh, so much. Some people were like, oh, it doesn't have that many features. There's no features. There's features on it. There's really good features. Watch it. You won't be disappointed. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Pokemon Sandy 6. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Links in the description below and SoundCloud. Alrighty, guys. I am Afro Geek plus Ultra Nappy. And I am out of here.